Hello, Slip Shop, fellow listeners, watchers. Uh, today we're going to try and take the Jag over to uh, the shop. It's been sitting in my driveway here since, since Dylan's wedding, I think, whenever that was. So uh, the da battery is presumably dead. And let's uh, change that baby out. I've been charging this fella for a while. I get just like a whole assortment of side post GM batteries. So set you up here in the trunk. You're not gonna get knocked around. You guys are in my way. This baby here is for sure. That is a doornail. Fleet Farm Special. That can go on the charger. Try to put this in here. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells like E85. That's nice. All right. We'll see how junk this battery is. It's a little spark, so there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, then. Uh, what do we got? Oh yeah, all right, okay, all right. Come on, baby. Start for me. Ooh, that's a good sign. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that E85 cold start. Okay. Trip to the shop is, oh, that's flat. Trip to the shop is uh, a couple minutes. some air in these tires and uh, get ready for the trip. Well, I almost made her. I got to uh, make sure my my thing's on here. Yeah, we're, we're microphoning. We almost made her. Uh, we are maybe a quarter of a mile from the shop. So that's fun. Uh, pulled up to the stop sign right up here, right up there. There's a stop sign and uh, <laughs> go to let off the brake and hit the gas and it just goes, bleh, dies right on the spot, which is not surprising. I'm sure the C85 that's in this thing has been sitting all winter long. I'm sure it's just absolutely full of water and who knows what else. So waiting on, uh, waiting on a buddy, well, Austin to uh, come jump me and then, uh, We'll be back at her. I'll have this thing on the lift in no time flat. My savior, he's arrived. Oh yeah, give me all that Ford Fusion goodness. Oh boy, can't get out of this thing. All right, we made it. We're here. Uh, got a quick jump, away we go. Apparently I'm gonna have to just get a new battery because that one's probably no bueno. Um, just working on getting this thing up on the lift here. Old lift. Uh, so basically, goals for uh, automotion to get this thing ready to rip. Um, like I've said in the past, I want to get a new return line hooked up to this thing. And I'd kind of like to get, there's a lot of bullshit in here that's just not, that's just dead weight. That I'd like to get out. There's a couple, there's another fuel tank in this side that's all rusted out and doesn't work and is in the car still. I would also like to get, I've got some, from what I've heard, these are a Dana 44 rear axle. 
And uh, I have a set of 373 Dana 44 gears for this. Um, so I'd like to get those put in. This thing's got like something crazy, like 288s or something in it, factory, which is just not good. It's great for, you know, doing 75 at, at uh, great for doing 75 miles an hour at, you know, 2000 RPM or 1500 RPM, whatever. But it's not what, uh, it's not what we're after with this unit here. We're after speed. I want to go fast in a jag. So, kind of what we're working towards. Uh, I got some other things that I, I might get crazy and I'd kind of like to possibly get, well, for sure, some front tires, uh, an alignment. I took it in to a shop once to get alignment and they tried giving me some bullshit about a ball joint, a boot that's not, it's torn and they didn't, they wouldn't do the alignment because of the ball joint and all this shit. And it's just, I think it was a, they didn't want to work on it. So here we are. Uh, I got a friend with a shop that lives an hour and a half-ish away. So we'll probably end up cruising it down there, getting her done. Hopefully you don't just hear me breathing heavily while I do this. Uh, can we set you up? Oh, that's a nice spot. That's pretty good. Up, up and away. That's not good. <laughs> Boy, has that gotten rustier. All right. That's not ideal. Maybe we're just buying a new car, swapping everything over. Jesus. Let's try here. That seems a little more structural. Sounds pretty nasty. Can you hear that? Wow. Neat. And I guess we'll be getting some uh, front wheel bearings. So we'll add that to the laundry list. But first, what do we like to do? Oh, we'll give you a little tour. So that tank's gonna come out. There's another fuel tank under here. Uh, that I can actually poke my finger into. And that one needs to come out. Um, two fuel pumps feeding this old girl. And what I'd like to do is uh, get some bulkheads that run through the car here from the tank. It just seems like a better uh, situation to me. And then I've got some like chintzy brass Y thing under here that I'd like to get rid of and just get a regular Y. Um, but I got to order fittings for all that. I was waiting until I got this thing up on the lift to remember exactly what is in this thing. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do engine oil change, you know, trans flush, some general maintenance items while we got it up. Nice circle D. Converter, 4080, 53, a little turbski. You can probably see that feller. What do we got here? Yeah. That's the exhaust, the exit. Uh, oh, one more thing is this thing has power steering, but the, pull, the pump took a shit. And uh, I'd like to get that working once again. And then this needs to have a pipe coming off of it. That is the wastegate, and it just kind of chooches right into this fan right now. And, uh, Kind of destroying everything, I'm sure. So, yeah, we've got a 
fair amount of work to do, but for now, oh yeah, here's a, ooh man, that's getting worse and worse all the time. That is not pretty. Wow, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, holy cow, that's getting worse. Probably gonna have to do something with that at some point. I think I remember looking online at one point and there's a place over like in the UK that sells replacement floor pans. Passenger side's great. Pinch weld, great. Everything, everything else, you know, the car is actually really solid. It's just that. That front driver's floor pan is just destroyed. What we got going on there? Pan gasket's leaky. Maybe toss a new gasket in there. Oh yeah. All right, anyways, <laughs> screwing around. Uh, we're gonna get this diff pulled out. I think that's today's agenda. I have a tripod. There it is. So this thing does have a, it's an XJ12 or an XJS. Ah, oh, that's hot. You dumbass. Uh, XJS or XJ12 or something or other uh, rear diff in it that we put in uh, well, a year or two ago because they wanted the, uh, they got a limited slip in them. So you can see, I had a limited slip anyway. Maybe it no longer has a limited slip, but I don't know. Hopefully it is. It's supposed to. So. Yeah. It does limited slip things. Uh, anyways, this whole rear suspension just kind of comes right out, which is cool. But. I can already see I put these lift arms in a bad spot. So, floor the car back down quick and uh, move these arms. I would like, honestly, to fix the rust on this car. I think it's worth it, honestly. It's. I don't know, these Jags are not stupid expensive. So in all reality, it's probably smarter just to, I don't know, spend <laughs> probably four grand on one from like down south somewhere that's already super clean. But, you know, probably, I'm probably not known for making super great financial decisions. Uh, I suppose we'll get the drive shaft yanked out of this thing first. The so one main downside to this whole operation we got going is the, uh, in order to get to the differential, you gotta drop the whole suspension and uh, and uh, the diff is basically the last thing that comes out, so. All right, please don't fall on my head. Thank you. Some shit. 
Didn't put oil in this thing after I put it back in. That sounded good. I don't know, I smell like it maybe. Semi here, boys. Seven eighths. Seven eighths is twenty one. All right. I lose in my mind. He's fifteen sixteenths. Add that to the list of stuff to order. Uh, Corvette wheels need a uh, conical lug. All right, phone calls. Get back to work. Like I was saying, uh, these Corvette wheels need a conical nut, and uh, let's just say these are not conical lug nuts. They're kind of a conical lug nut, but. For you fellas, if you ever got a stuck wheel, just put a lug nut back on, you know, a couple two tree treads, and uh, boom. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you probably didn't be, you probably didn't see a bit of that. All right. Oh, I remember why these are tight. The center is just a touch too small. So I had to do a little, that's it, a little massaging. All right, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think uh, I don't have a drive. I don't have a park brake hooked up to this. Looks like we could just unhook a brake line and, you know, quick we go. Do this brake line and then uh, do a couple, a couple eight volts maybe. <laughs> Shit. No problem, boys. Let's see if we can get you in. You still recording? Looks like it. Battery's about dead. Uh, <laughs> so here's kind of the, the whole shebang. We got, that's just the, the brake line that's got to get pulled. And then this thing's got inboard brakes. Isn't that weird? This is weird dual coil over. Apparently these are super popular with like rat rod. The rat rod folks really like these because they, uh, well, they can, you can pretty much bolt them into anything. Uh, yeah, quick fastening. 
as the Brits would say. Brick lane. What size are brake lines? 7 16 What's your guess? Leave it in the comments. I'll be that guy. It's not a 7 16 Oh. I hope my wife listens to this. And she can just listen to me ramble on about nothing. Uh, 7 16 wasn't it. Let's step her up to a half inch. See how we like that. Oh God, it feels so good to be in the shop and be comfortable. Come on, loosen up for me, please. I'm asking nicely. Nope, okay. All right, that's fine. How about you? I'll torch your ass if I have to. Don't think I won't. What did I, I just had those wrenches. What did I do with them? I bet they're on them. I bet they're on there. Yep, right there. Every time. Not the right size. Okay. I swear, everything on this car is standard. Where the hell are Jaguars made? That was British. UK. What is it? Oh, that felt pretty good. That felt good. I think the I think the nut turned and not the line. I just hit myself in the forehead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Uh, back into my splits position. Oh yeah, oh, we're in business. I don't know what Jag uses for brake lines or what they're coated in, but it is excellent stuff. I need some of those brake line stopper dealies. This thing we got a leak everywhere. Ooh, that looks nasty. That's some nasty looking stuff. Uh, drain pan. This looks like an oil vessel. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Unreal. Still the wrong size wrench. Okay. Go back to a 15. And another 15. Another one. Beautiful. Hey, a rag. And brake fluid all over me. Hey, brake fluid. All right. Uh, show you guys what we're working with here. battery dead yet? Oh yeah, you're dead. You're done. I left my fucking case in the car tonight. Of course, of course you did. Anytime you need something out of the car, anytime you put a car on the lift, you better be, you better believe you're gonna need whatever's inside it. So then you walk around like an idiot, looking for a ladder. We have one somewhere. Uh, so yeah, basically these guys here, there's two bolts here, two bolts here, and then uh, trailing arm, both sides. And this thing's ready to come out. Got the brake line undone. That's leaking everywhere as it does. Oh, what's going on there? Like I said, this thing is, I mean, it's pretty solid. It's a pretty good unit, I think. Anyway.
Oh, she's out. This rear end is nothing holding it. Ain't a damn thing. Let me take you for a ride. Magic cover ride. Oh, well, you can see this side. It's already dropped down. It's brackets. Uh, these are those arms that I was screwing with. Brake line. Drive shafts out. Same deal on this side. Oh, yeah, she is ready for for removal ripe for removal all right let me you guys can you guys can hang out just, just chill out for a minute all right I'm trying to get squished underneath of this thing Pause. All right, that's fine. Why are you, why are you crooked? What's your deal? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's all mine. She's free, free and clear. Down she goes. Is gonna sit? Looks like it. This thing's got some crazy, for sure, like asbestos sound deadening that I think is probably gonna go away for weight saving purposes, you know? What's this tag here say? Use limited slip diff lube only. That means that we've got a limited slip differential, I think. That would seem to be what that means. I'll take you for a tour. Uh, here's the, this is that asbestos cancer, whatever you know, I'm talking about. I think that's gonna go away. That looks heavy and unnecessary for our. We're, we're not uh, we're not going for super, super duper uh, comfortable anymore. Look at that, nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. These are some pretty beef axles in this thing, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what she does. Can you? No. No way. Say maybe you can get the no, because you still gotta get oh yeah, yeah, you gotta get all of this apart. Wow. Alright. That's some good progress for the D. You know? 